Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Four Strings Drummer, the channel that's all about ukuleles. So tonight we're going to work with um, and on a song called uh, Gentle On My Mind by uh, Glenn Campbell. And what I'd like to do tonight is play the song through so that um, you know you can play along with it. I'll teach you the chords, it's a pretty straightforward tune. Um, but I'll also show you some little embellishments and things that you can do. And you can add those into this song or to um, other songs that, that you might be playing. Um, that can take a fairly simple song um, in terms of the number of chords that you've got and um, it really enhanced the sound of it. Um, so a, a friend of mine, um, an online friend, um, a YouTube friend of mine, Rich Davis, he does a version of uh, Gentle On My Mind and he plays it with just uh, the main two chords which are um, C and G7. It's known that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. G7. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping man rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And the way that he enhances the sound of a really simple arrangement like that with just the two chords is he does it finger picking style. And it really adds a nice um, sort of s melodic sound to a simple arrangement of, of two chords. Um, and I thought it was really great. Um, so check it out. I'll, I'll put I'll put the descript um, a link to uh, Rich playing that. He's been working on it a lot lately. Um, now this song I play with three chords, uh, so it adds one in between the C and the G7. It's known that your door is always open and your path is free to D minor one. And then I go to the G7. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And then I go to the C. So by adding that extra chord, it gives you a little bit more variation in the uh, in just the sound from the chords. Okay. Um, now another thing that you can add. Again, these are all layers, right? So you take the basic. You can take like a two chord version of this that's strummed. Sounds nice. Sounds simple. Sounds you know, very pleasing. Then you add that finger picking style. So that's a nice embellishment that you can add, right? And you can keep that finger picking and you can add other things or you can keep the strumming and add other things. So here's another thing I do. <clears throat> With the, when I change to my D minor, I'm hammering on. These are all the little things that kind of hidden little Tricks. So it's known that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. That makes pretend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. Let me slide it back up to the sea. Okay? So you'll hear that in the song. Another thing you can do, and this again, this type of stuff doesn't work just with this song. It works with all kinds of songs. Any song you can start doing hammer-ons and things, right? So if you just listen for it. Here's another one. <clears throat> um, this song is in the key of C. All right, so this, we start with the C chord. It's known that your door's always open and you're holding it that whole time. But think about this. This is a C chord. This is a version of a C chord. This is a C chord, okay? So those are all, this is C, obviously. This is uh, C major seven. This is C six, just open. Okay, so what I do is I go like this. It's known that you do. I just slide it down one fret. It's always open. I lift it off and I add it back on. And your path is free to D minor with my little hammer on. Go to my G seven. Makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch or whatever the words are, okay? Um, it just adds kind of a nice little element to the song. So you can look for other chords that are similar to what the main chord is on the, um, if you're doing it from a readout, don't be afraid to try other chords as well major seven minors all kinds of stuff and it gives it it can give it a jazzy sound um, it can fill in some of the um, parts where you're just strumming on the same chord for a long time add a finger right here's another one 
It's known that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. So I'm here. Now watch. I can just do another hammer on if I want, or I can add another finger. Just find another place to put it. I'm just dropping my pinky finger here at the third fret. And experiment around. Don't doesn't matter, you get a wrong note. Well, that's kind of kind of neat, right? So I'll try that where my uh, finger goes for my C chord. And then I go to my G7. Makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag. Maybe let's try it. Dropping it on where the C chord goes. Okay, so now you start to build up all these little elements that you can add, and it can take um, a simple arrangement, and you can all of a sudden start to make it sound like a different song altogether. Okay? And, and, you know, take one layer, add it on. When you get comfortable with that, add another layer on. And you might not like all the different layers together. Get rid of that layer. Try this layer, okay? Just different techniques you can try. Okay. Strumming. Let's talk about strumming. <clears throat> okay. So, I see a lot of people asking about strumming patterns. And so, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I think strumming patterns are, are really a good learning tool. Um... I think I find sometimes they can become a bit of a cage though and I see people get frustrated because they get the down down up up down up thing going on whatever it is and partly through the song whatever they muff a chord and then they're lost and then they're like oh my god where am I in the up up down up right so think about strumming listen to the song and this will help you to figure songs out more easily yourself as well on YouTube guys do covers and things like that so Try to listen to what the rhythm of that strum is. So listen to this now. Don't think down, down, up, up. What's this going to look like on a pattern? I want you to think. Okay? Because that's the sound that you want to get in your head. Because you can play that whether I'm playing it with my thumb and my fingers or whatever it is. Because that might be the, the, the sound that's going on for this part of the song. Another part of the song might have another rhythm that's going on. You might want to put just a kind of a chunk, 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 chunk for extra emphasis in another part of the song. But try to switch your strumming pattern sort of mentality from a visual thing where you're seeing it on a page to a listening thing okay and that'll help you when you just see a really nice cover of a song and you know you can figure out what the chords are then you need to just work on what that is so try to train your ear to listen for that that pattern okay all right now we're going to play the song and that's how the whole song goes. It's just C, B minor, G7. Now, when I do this little rundown, if you want to just play the C chord, that's fine. Just stay there. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do this. Okay? All right. Here we go. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind the couch. It's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words and bones and the ink stains that have dried upon some That keeps you on the back roads and the rivers of my memory. It keeps you ever gentle on my mind. It's not clinging to the rocks and ivies planted on their columns now that bind me. Oh, something that somebody said because they thought we fit together walking. It's just knowing that the world be a cursing or forgiven when I walk along some railroad track and find you're waiting on the back roads by the river of my memory. I 
problems you just chill on my mind Oh, the wheat fields and the clothes lines and the junkyards and the highways come between us Some other woman's crying to a mother cause she turned I was gone I still might run in silence, tears of joy might stay in my face, and the summer sun might burn me till I'm blind. But not to where I cannot see, standing on the back roads, rivers flowing gentle on my mind. Okay, folks, there we go. There was a lot to cover today. And um, so I hope you got something out of that, some different little tips and, and uh, techniques that you can use, again, with this song as well as with many others. Just kind of layer up all those different little tools you got in your toolbox, whether it's finger picking, different strumming patterns, um, if it's uh, little hammer-ons, uh, added different chords, things like that. Try them all out. Throw it into the soup. Mix it up there and see what comes out. Okay. Got any questions at all on anything that we talked about here tonight, um, just feel free to drop it into the comments section. I'll be more than happy to try and help you out. Okay, till we see you next time, keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Bye for now.